My next question is about the creative process. So you guys, I guess for simplicity, speak off the question, the answer, the tipping points. So I'm trying to dissect it a little bit for myself, for my own understanding, uh, because to me, one important way to sort of blend vibrations, to jump from where I am to the creation itself goes through thinking of the why or it's what allows me to become a vibrational match. It may allows me to merge into the creation. Where would you fit that? Is that where would you fit it in as part of the question or as part of the answer? We have an explanation for that as well. We also often offer the creation process explanation as you observing and choosing observing and choosing in your physicality you're constantly observing something and then based off of that you're making choices so your observation can be that question place that we talk about and then in your place of choosing you start tipping the point towards the answer but the answer does not come immediately when you make the choice that making of the choice can also be the place the moment you're so clear about the choice, you stop observing and choosing. In other words, observing, choosing, observing, choosing, choice gets you to the clarity of what is, what is it that you want. So first, you always clarify want. Your want, wanting, what is your desire, what is it that you want, gets clarified first. Question, and that you can even call as the first answer, the first answer, the first clarity of what it is. What is it that I really, truly, truly want? And then once you catch that way, we like to say that you're observing and choosing is happening in this place of, you can even call it the flat line. In other words, to, in this plane dimension, think about it as a movement, one side to another, observing and choosing, observing and choosing. And then once you're observing and choosing, you catch the wave of what is it that you're wanting, that clarity of what, that you, what is it that you're wanting. That is the time where you do not spend any more time or you spend less and less time giving the attention of, of observing and choosing. So as long as you're not distracted anymore and you have that clarity about your wanting, you do not need to stay there for too long. Actually, you do not want to stay there for too long because your why can get you to the place of clarifying what you want. But you do not want to go into that why after you clarified what you want because if you start thinking about what is that why, and why is that thing not there? Why is that experience not there? That means that you're going back into observing choosing. So your why is clarifying to you what is it that you want. And in that moment, once you have clarity, what is it that you want? You do not go back into why. You do not go back into observing and choosing. You're so clear about something that you want that then at that time it's time for you to release it. Now we know that this sometimes may sound like releasing your desire, but releasing your focus from desire because your desire and your is a vibration of question. In other words, your wanting is getting you in a way to that point, to that tipping point when, when you decide to release that wanting, that is when your discovery starts. That is when your question has a tipping point. In other words, you're observing and choosing. You're observing and choosing gets you the clarity of one thing. You can bring your why there as well to help you. And then once you're in a place of tipping point, then you're in discovery of your question into experiencing it physically, experiencing this purchase or experiencing this experience or finding the feeling or whatever it is that you've desired at that time. So observe and choose clarity of wanting, catch that wave, release the wanting, so then your discovery can start. In other words, your how is now happening on its own. You do not have to think about how. You do not have to think about where to go next because every experience, every other set of question answers on a variety of topics is going to get you to that place, to that place, to that place, or sometimes you go into discovery rather quickly and that's what many call instant manifestation.